my name is Colleen and welcome back to my channel! So today, as you can probably tell from the title of the video, we are going to be taking a closer look at my cartoon keyboard that I did over on TikTok. I had so many requests over on TikTok to do like a closer look of all the keys individually and talk about some of my favourite keys and some of the keys I like the least. But I feel like I just don't have enough time on TikTok to like go into that much depth about each little painting. I also asked you guys over on Instagram if this is something you wanted to see on my Instagram story and you guys were like, yes. Let's do it. If you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I like to do like little series over on TikTok. Last year I actually painted two computer keyboards. I did like a mixed cartoon one and I also did a Disney one and I loved doing those and so did you guys. So more recently I decided to take that concept but instead of doing it on a computer keyboard I did it on a musical keyboard. Anyway about a week ago I finished painting it and I thought I'd do you guys a full tour of it today. I'll give you guys like a proper full look in a moment but here's a quick sneak peek. It's very colourful and it has a bunch of different cartoons on it. We've got Spongebob characters, we've got Steven Universe, Phineas and Ferb, Disney characters, so many! Before we take a closer look I just wanted to talk a little bit about the process of painting this keyboard. So my favourite thing about painting the computer keyboards is that you can like pick a key off and then you can paint it. <laughs> you can like paint it away from the keyboard and not make a mess on the keyboard itself. But with this keyboard all of the keys were like super squished up next to each other and super super difficult to paint. So it was it was really difficult because I kept getting paint on the next key. So this keyboard in my opinion is a bit of an experimental one. If you follow the series you'll notice that I use different sealants at the end of my painting. A sealant is basically something you put on top of a painting that stops it from smearing or damaging or getting like wet maybe. And I usually use Mod Podge. And I started the series by using Mod Podge but then I found that it kept getting like fluffs in it. And I also found that it just dried super quickly on the key which meant that it kind of got a bit chunky. So I ended up swapping to a spray sealant. This was a terrible idea because I ended up spraying some keys multiple times because I couldn't be super super precise. So then that meant a lot of my paintings began to crack. I didn't end up fixing this so some of those paintings are still cracked and some of the keyboard has a lot of like texture from where I sprayed. I just had to like, it was very upsetting. But I had to just like go, it's fine, it's just, it's just a keyboard, it's fine, next time you know. Yes. So anyway, I ended up swapping back to Mod Podge and it worked okay. It's not flawless but it's okay. But anyway let's just go ahead and take a closer look at the keyboard in all its glory. I'll talk about some of my favourite keys, some of my least favourite keys and you guys can just get a general overview of all the characters that I did and all the shows that I touched upon. So let's take a look. Here's the whole keyboard. I feel like I never got a shot of the whole thing on TikTok so here I it is. I love it so much and as you can see it is super colourful. We ended up doing 36 keys in total and some of those keys have more than one character on them and I just love them all. As you can see, this is a very small keyboard. I think I can fit about four hands across it, so it's very, very small. But anyway, let's just take a closer look at all the characters individually. The first characters we did were Patrick and Spongebob. We then did Perry the Platypus, Scooby-Doo, Timmy Turner, and then we also did Cosmo and Wanda. We then did Grizz from Wee Bear Bears, Beemo, Steven Universe, Phineas and Ferb, Baymax, and Dr. Doofenshmirtz. We then moved on to do Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. We did The Grinch, which is one of my favourites. We also did Olaf, Mabel and Dipper, and then we did Winnie the Pooh. We then did Bubbles, Buttercup and Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls, followed by Pikachu, Isabel from Animal Crossing, Toothless and Light Fury. Next we did Ladybug and Cat Noir, we did Appa, Squidward, Princess Peach from Mario and Kermit. And finally we did Groot, Prince Naveen as a frog, Princess Tiana as a frog and Minnie and Mickey. So let me show you some of my favourite keys. So I think Princess Peach and Kermit the Frog are definitely in my top five. I think they turned out so cute. I don't think Kermit is technically a cartoon but it, ca it kind of counts. I think by this point I had a lot of practice so my technique was better. One of my other favourite keys is Isabel from Animal Crossing. I think I just love her shading so much and the details just make her look like her. I also love Prince Naveen, Prince Tiana, Minnie and Mickey. These are definitely one of my favourites. I want to say that they're all my favourite. I love Stitch and the Grinch too. I just love the shading on the Grinch. I think he looks so realistic. I also love Phineas and Ferb and Spongebob and Patrick. Spongebob and Patrick were my first keys but I just love how cute their eyes are. Oh and finally I love Mabel and Dipper but I think I'm biased because I just love these guys. Next time I'm going to show you some of my least favourites but it's really hard to pick really. The Powerpuff Girls are definitely at the bottom of my list. I'm not really sure why I just I don't know. Toothless, Light Fury, Ladybug and Cat Noir are my least favourite. Toothless is one of my favourite characters but I just don't think I did him justice. Oh and 
I did Ladybug's eyes a little bit too big. But here you can see some of the cracking that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I have this going across a few keys, but it's most obvious on this and one. And I mentioned that the Mod Podge collected a lot of dust and fluff, and you can see it on the Grinch's face here. I also smudged this text that was like printed on the keyboard. I don't really know how I did it. But overall, I just adore the keyboard. There was a lot of trial and error and learning how to paint the keyboard as I went along. But this features so many of my favorite characters, and I honestly smile so hard every time I look at it. Yay! So in those clips, you probably saw some of the flaws and some of my favorite bits, etc, etc. But overall, I'm super, super happy with it. I'm so proud of it. I can't believe I did this. I honestly surprise myself every time I draw a character. I'm like, wow. I drew that? <laughs> that looks like the real thing. I only started doing cartoon work about a year ago. Before that, I used to do like realism and stuff. So all of this stuff is very new to me. But I literally love just doing all the characters. And you guys seem to love watching me do these series as well. So if you missed this series or if you loved watching it and you want another one, I actually began a new series just a few days ago. I've only done one character so far. I've done Jerry from Tom and Jerry. I'm just looking for the keyboard. I have no idea what I've done with it. Hello? I found it. As I mentioned, I am doing a computer keyboard instead of a musical keyboard once again because I just generally enjoyed doing this more than the piano, but you never know. I might do another piano too. But the theme I'm doing on this is TV and movies. So many people over on TikTok wanted me to do either a Marvel themed keyboard or a Harry Potter themed keyboard, but I just thought painting loads and loads of tiny little people pa people faces, people faces would be so hard. So I thought, why don't we combine them all? Someone else suggested TV and movies and I was like, yes, this is perfect because we can do cartoons, we can do people, we can do literally anything from anywhere. So that's what we're doing on this keyboard and I'm super excited about it because I just love painting these. But yeah, if you missed my previous series, I'll link the series down in the description box below. I'm not sure if I'll be able to link them all, but I'll definitely link you to one and then there's a playlist over on my TikTok where you can watch them all. But let me know down in the comments below today which of the keys that you saw in this video was your favorite. I have so many favorites. They're just, I just, I'm just so happy with them all. But if you have any other suggestions for series, let me know down in the comments below. We can either do them on YouTube or we can do them over on TikTok. We recently hit 1.5 million on TikTok, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. So thank you so, so much. But if you're new here from TikTok or if you're just generally new here, it would mean the world if you could like and subscribe because it just really, really helps me out. But that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys got a better idea of all the keys that I did and you enjoyed just seeing some of my favorites and stuff. You can also check out all my other social media channels down in the description box below. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok, and my Twitch because I stream there every other week at the moment. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next Friday at 5 p.m. Bye! Castaways. We are castaways. Bye.